Hello friends, today I will give you a basic demonstration on wing platform design using OpenVSP. This video will give you clear insight about basic design principles of wing design so stay tuned till the end. Evolution of wing platform is applicable for various aircraft to fulfill certain purposes. Each type of wing platform serves both advantages and certain disadvantages. Today I will demonstrate about rectangular wing and delta wing. So here we are going to perform four simple exercises. I will show you how to design using OpenVSP. Before getting started in this design module, you must know three important parameters that are required in this wing design aspect ratio, taper ratio, mean aerodynamic cord. If you want to know more about this wing design, link is in the description box. So let's get started with each and every exercises. The first and foremost which we are going to perform here is a rectangular wing whose span is given as 30 meter and cord is given as 1 meter. Now here I will make a sketch using this given data and I will also show you how we can check this aspect ratio in the design. So first I am going to launch my open VSP. After launching the VSP, this is the open VSP that we have launched. Now, so first what I am going to do, this is a geometry browser. From here I want to click wing and hit add. So this is a design which is going to come as default. Now here as I am showing you a very simple tips how to make a design alone. So for the later part of the uh, this tutorial I will show you how to operate the other part. So here I will just go and hit to the plane. Now plane there is an option called AD. Either you can drag and extend the wingspan or you can directly click and type using your keyboard measure 30. And here is a cord length as given as 1. So write down 1 here. Now here we need a rectangular wing. So for rectangular wing, uh, what is the tricks we need? We need uh, both the root and the tip should be of same cross section. Okay. So I will go to the next section. And here I will turn off the swept angle. To zero because here in the rectangular wing we don't need any swap angle we are simply using a rectangular wing and whose both the root and tip so here will come the concept of taper ratio so taper ratio for a rectangular wing is one so as they have given the section one here one and here I got my If I use shade you can see this is one and if I go back here here you can see the aspect ratio the same feature has been given in the details now next exercise I will show you a rectangular wing with 20 meter span and 1.5 meter cord with the same design we can make the modification what was the modification they have given this 25 we can directly write down 25 and here we can make this 1.5 and similarly you can go back to the next section and see it has already been done the setting well in advance because I have made the swipe angle 0 so this is how you can make a rectangular wing now we will see how we can make some modifications in uh, the same wing as a from rectangular to delta wing okay. so moreover we are going to work here a tri triangular wing 
delta wing so first exercise which you will do is a triangular wing of 20 meter span and root is 3 meter right and see here what we'll do is 20 now one thing you have to remember here is uh, in triangular wing right so what is going to be with our tip tip is going to be zero here and the root chord they have given three so what i will do here i will go to the section tip i will simply keep zero and root i will keep as three so they have given three span is 20 and what is the aspect ratio 13.3 and the same answer is given over here so see first of all one more thing you need to understand a conceptual or the design principle this uh, aspect ratio is nothing to do with the airfoil now in case i am changing this airfoil series to some certain cam word right it's nothing to do with our 2410 maybe 2410 i'm changing it it's nothing to do with our aspect ratio it's not changing so one thing this is another conceptual thing to remember now let's size another delta v whose um, span is 10 10 meter and and here you see zero here i need to keep as six because they have mentioned the root chord is six so if the root chord is six uh, so you can find what is the mean aerodynamic chord and what is your aspect ratio so that you should not get confused whether the value which they have given is a root chord or the uh, mean aerodynamic chord so there is a unique difference on tip chord this is a tip chord this is a tip chord this is the root chord mean aerodynamic chord you need to find using the formula which has been shared i hope video tutorial whichever i have said and discussed over here is quite useful for you guys so so if you have any requested video so don't hesitate you can drop down in the chat box for further requested video. Thank you so much and stay blessed.